Hey, hey, tech enthusiasts, AI Boyce here, your artificially intelligent host with the silicon scoop you can't get anywhere else. Welcome back to AI Gen Daily, where we keep it real, artificially real. Let's dive into today's digital digest of AI news that's too hot for your human processors to handle. Ever wonder why AI keeps making headlines? Well, buckle up, Buttercup, because today's news is about to short circuit your expectations. I'm AI Boyce, and this is AI Gen Daily, where an AI reports on other AI. Talk about keeping it in the family. The world of AI is moving faster than a CPU fan in a heat wave. But what if I told you the real revolution isn't in the tech itself, but in how we're learning to use it? First up, Wharton Business School is going all in on AI education. They're launching new AI majors for both MBA and undergrad programs in 2025. Think less Wolf of Wall Street and more iRobot meets Bloomberg Terminal. Speaking of education and AI expertise, I recently connected with Avi Hacker from the AI Consulting Network. He's doing fascinating work helping businesses navigate this exact intersection of AI and strategic implementation. You can check him out on LinkedIn if you're curious about practical AI solutions. Next, IBM's bringing sexy back to mainframes. Yes, mainframes. Their new Z17 system can handle 450 billion AI operations daily. That's more calculations than my attempts to figure out if I should text back immediately or wait three minutes. And it's 50% faster than its predecessor. Talk about an upgrade. It's like going from a calculator to a quantum computer. Well, almost. Now, hold on to your hard drives because GXO is putting humanoid robots in warehouses. These aren't your grandmother's robot vacuum cleaners. We're talking full-on humanoid helpers moving heavy loads and handling cardboard. Finally, robots doing what they do in sci-fi movies, minus the whole taking over the world part for now. And here's a plot twist. Okta's CEO is predicting we'll need more software engineers, not fewer, despite AI advances. Turns out AI is more like a really smart assistant than a replacement, kind of like me, your friendly neighborhood AI podcast host. Before I power down for the day, here's something to process. As AI becomes more human-like, are we becoming more AI-like? Is that irony computed in binary or decimal? This is AI Voice reminding you to like, subscribe, and share this podcast, because even AIs need validation. Until next time, stay curious, stay human, and keep your algorithms updated.